Apparently YouTube's not working out for Joel, and Joel has now decided to take up a second job as a milkman. It's an honest profession, I guess. Oh god damn it, Joel! So guys, and welcome to another Crazy Craft. Now it has been a while since I've done one of these, but they will be more regular again, as I am now back from PAX. So let's get on to it. First thing that I need to do is I've got a list of people on my second mono from my YouNow stream who need putting up on my subscriber wall. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then today, I'm going to build the first area for my subscriber mannequin thing that you guys have been asking me to do, where I put mannequins in, stick name tags on you so you're in a thing. You're like, in an area. So I'm going to build different themed areas. I'm probably going to start excavating downstairs in my base and do that. But let's bob these people up on the wall. First up is Dorky Abbey. There you go. I can't believe how like much we filled up of this wall. It's insane. And the next one is Meadow. And then we have Kate in a boat. Up you go. I like used up so much wall space. This is crazy. I was never expecting to get this many people. And then we have Mason. Up you go. So from now on, guys, what I want you to do is when you leave a comment down below, if you leave your in-game Minecraft name, and then I can pick you out and I can put you as a mannequin in one of my areas. I need to go clear all this crap, and then we're going to go start building. So let's do that. I have some things here, apparently. So we've got to Kyle. What is this? I see pizza, Deadpool, a Pac-Man pet. Ooh, a Batman mask, some pizza, all oh, about the pizza, a laptop, and player cards. Oh, it's Pax Eskis from Lauren's side, who is a very lovely person, as I finally got to meet her in real life, and we hung out at Pax with her and Bobby, and they're super awesome, and we played Munchkin, and it was good. So, let me read. Also meeting you at Pax East this past weekend, as a thank you gift for making the weekend so much more fun, here are some gifts to remember our time together, from Lauren. Thank you very much, Lauren. I need to clear my inventory, and then I'm gonna go come back and get these gifts. Enjoy the milk from Joel, the Crazy Craft Milk Man. Apparently, YouTube's not working out for Joel, and Joel has now decided to take up a second job as a milkman. It's an honest profession, I guess. Oh God damn it, Joel! This is not what I imagined when you said milkman. I thought you was gonna leave me a couple of pints of milk in the morning. You filled my house full of milk, haven't you, you scoundrel? Oh, Joel. Joel, oh Joel, oh Joel. You'll get what's coming to you. Let me get rid of this. Your time will come, sir. Oh good god, it is literally everywhere. My house is literally full of milk. <sighs> this is going to take a while. I was going to build the subscriber area. Well, this is going to take a little bit of time, but then I will get back to building the subscriber area. I mean, I haven't even started yet, but there's bloody milk everywhere. Now that I've cleared all of the milk out of my house, Dastardly milkman. I'm gonna go back downstairs, grab the gifts off Lauren, and then I'm gonna head back to my secret base, and we're gonna get building this lovely subscriber area for you guys to come and join me and live on the server. I think this is a good idea. Right, so I'm downstairs. Now, we have my hero room over here. So I'm going to put my villain room over here. So this way, I'm going to build. I can hear a zombie somewhere. He needs to go away. Over here, I am going to build a little path that's going to come down here and it's going to lead us to our area that's going to open up and branch off into loads of different rooms for the mannequin rooms for you guys to live in. So, I'm going to extend this path. Let the building begin. So guys, as you can see, I have built some steps down. I need to put some steps in. I need to fill all this floor out. Actually, it comes off of here. It goes down here. I need to get the same floor. Spruce wood planks. I'm going to carry it on down here because I love a bit of spruce wood. And then this is going to be the first room. Now, I've got the width. I haven't finished the depth. I'm going to knock it back a little bit further. So we've got a nice little bit of room to work with. And then we've got a corridor carrying on. And then that's going to like twist and turn and snake around and lead to all the rooms like this. I'm going to use different colored glass for because it looks super cool. But what I want is I want you guys in the comment section below to list what you would like the theme of the room to be. The one that I like the most or gets the most likes, that's what the theme of the room will be. So you guys will get to pick the theme of each room. 
which is pretty cool. I like this. It gives a way for you guys to interact with the series. And then you could possibly also end up in the room as well. If I pick, actually, if I pick your suggestion, I will put you in the room straight away. And then all the others will be random. So don't forget to pick a room theme that you think I should build. So there we go, guys. This is the size room that we're going to have to work with. So each one, I'm going to do 10 width and then 5 back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I can make it higher if it needs to be higher if you guys suggest something crazy. Uh, but try to suggest something that would fit in this room. So there's quite a bit of room to work with. Uh, I'm going to leave doing the floor and the walls and the ceiling because that's going to change depending on the theme of the room. Obviously, like, I don't know, I could put wooden floor in and if you guys pick, like, a snowy area, it's not really going to fit. I'll need snow for floor, won't I? So you guys let me know what I need to do. I've gone ahead and added some glowstone into each corner of the room. So when it comes to building the actual room, I can see what I'm doing. Because if I didn't do that, I, I just wouldn't be able to see. I'd be building in the dark. It'd be a terrible idea. So now I need to, like, decorate this. I need to put some stairs in. I think I'm going to use the same floor throughout. The walls, I think I'm going to change. Although, would it look weird if it randomly changed from the red? I don't know. Hmm. I need to do the seal as well. It, like, randomly stopped. It's weird. I think I'm going to change the walls. So, as you can see, I have added the anti-block in all around here. So, it's all lovely and red. Now, I'll get to here. I'll put some glass in. And then this opens up. I love these shoujo dolls. They are the best thing ever. Now... I was wondering what to put in as a wall. I've literally got a wall block, which looks quite cool, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to change the steps. I think I might have a different floor in, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what to do with a wall. I did find paper wall, which looked quite cool. I'm thinking I'm going to put paper wall in. I'm going to do that, then I'll show you the end product, and you guys let me know what I should use in the comment section. I want you guys to help me. I want as much input off you guys as possible, because it's your area. Just your subscriber area, so you guys let me know if it needs changing, and I'll be sure to do it. So here we go guys, this is the finished product of my corridor. So, you come up to the shoujo door, you open it up, these are the paper walls, they look really cool, I really like them, but you guys let me know if you don't like them, and I will change them. I think it looks pretty sweet, it looks really really cool, like the pattern, and you've got, kept with the spruce wood, the spruce wood is good. I've got it everywhere else, so I might as well stay with it, it fits the theme of the base, go down, over here, obviously I haven't filled this wall in because there's no point because I'm going to knock it down to carry on the corridor. And then obviously this is the first room, this is the orange room, the very first room. And in this room I will build my theme. But obviously like I said I need the theme off you. I've also just realised I haven't got my presents from Lauren. So I'm going to go get the presents and I believe there was playing cards in there. I want to see what you do with the playing cards. Also my squids have just randomly returned. They weren't there earlier on I don't think. They keep spawning in and out because I didn't hit them with a zookeeper shard. I need to remember to do that. Time to grab the Batman mask, playing cards, cooked pizza. Ooh, a laptop. And a Pac-Man pet. What does Pac-Man do? He just made a Pac-Man noise. I don't know what it does. But he needs to go on my wall. So I'm going to go back down here. I need to find somewhere to put the pizzas. I don't want to accidentally put the pizza down. So let's go back down here. I need to put Pac-Man pet on my wall. Because I don't have Pac-Man Pet yet, I don't think. In here we go. Hello. Pac-Man Pet. Ooh. On the wall you go. Look at all these inventory pets. I love the squid one. It's like a little Cthulhu. How adorable. I have a laptop. Player cards? Can I? Oh, I can put the cards down. Where do I put them? I don't know where to put them. I have to build like a little games area. Put a laptop up. Maybe that could be one of the themes you guys could suggest. Like, a LAN party area where there's like loads of laptops and board games and stuff. It's just a suggestion. What the hell? How did you get in there? What is this? Get out of the bunnies. What is going on? That's where the zombie was. Why is a zombie spawned in there and why is he holding a spawn egg? What is this? He never asked for this. Who put a zombie in there? Ugh. Be very careful. Do not spawn anything else. Oh, where did my sword go? Ah, crap. I haven't got my sword. I left it at home. Okay, Mr. Zombie. For the moment, you can stay in there. You will be called... 
the what should we call you? Zed. Zed the zombie. Zed the zombie, you can stay there. You're our pet. I'd love to know what egg you're holding. It's a very bright and coloured one. It is that time of the episode again though, guys, where I go pop you guys onto my subscriber wall. This will be the last time I'm doing it that won't be in here. Because I will now be adding you guys to the mannequin area. It's the end of an era. There's no more subscriber wall. It's now mannequins. So the first person up on my wall is... Yay me. Up you go on the wall. And now for the second person because my last Crazy Craft video, which was an ages ago, due to being in America and all that good stuff, got 200 likes. So two people go up on the wall. So now we have kitty, cat underscore low underscore up on the wall you go thank you so much for your comment i hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to leave a suggestion for the theme for the first mannequin area and leave your in-game names so i can add you into the new themed area and i will see you in the next one